President Trump's own words today about the deadly school shooting. The president hosting many of the nation's governors at the White House, criticizing the response and then telling the governors he would have run into the school even without a weapon. ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, leading us off. President Trump said today he likely would have showed courage under fire and run into Stoneman Douglas High School himself to confront the killer. You know, I really believe, you don't know until you test it, but I think I, I really believe I'd run in there even if I didn't have a weapon. And I think most of the people in this room would have done that too. Speaking to a large bipartisan group of governors, the president revealed he had lunch Sunday with Wayne LaPierre, leader of the NRA, which is now under intense pressure. At least 16 corporations, including Delta Airlines, MetLife, and several major rental car companies, have severed their ties with the NRA since the Parkland shooting. The president called the NRA leaders patriots, but he insisted he's not afraid to oppose them. And I want to tell you, they want to do something. And I said, fellas, we got to do something. It's too long now. we got to do something. Don't worry about the NRA. They're on our side. You guys, half of you are so afraid of the NRA. There's nothing to be afraid of. And you know what? If they're not with you, we have to fight them every once in a while. That's okay. And one idea the president has embraced would require a fight, a plan to raise the minimum age for buying a rifle from 18 to 21. The NRA opposes the idea, and since their lunch with the president, he hasn't mentioned it either. In concept, the president still supports it, but in terms of legislation, we would need to see what that looks like before we weigh in further. The idea the president seems most enthusiastic about remains allowing qualified teachers and school officials to carry concealed weapons to school. I want highly trained people that have a natural talent, like hitting a baseball or hitting a golf ball or putting. But the governor of Washington state Democrat Jay Inslee rose to confront the president. I've listened to the first grade teachers that don't want to be pistol packing first grade teachers. We need to listen that educators should educate and they should not be foisted upon this responsibility of packing heat in first grade classes. So I just suggest we need a little less tweeting here, a little more listening. The president immediately turned to Republican Greg Abbott governor of Texas, one of a handful of states that allows qualified teachers to carry concealed weapons. Abbott said some schools actually have warning signs like this one out front. Warning anybody coming on there that if they attempt to cause any harm, they're going to be in trouble. Well, I think that's great. John Carl with us live tonight at the White House. And John, as the president was addressing the governors, we know First Lady Melania Trump was speaking to their spouses and she praised those high school students who have spoken out about gun control. Take a listen. I have been heartened to see children across this country using their voices to speak out and try to create change. They're our future and they deserve a voice. John, as you know, the students the First Lady now praising have been taking on the NRA. President Trump today revealing, as you reported there, that he had lunch with the head of the NRA over the weekend. And you heard him say that he's willing to take on the NRA to fight the NRA. But, David, he has not supported a single piece of legislation, a single bill that the NRA opposes. And this much is clear. Unless the president leads, Congress is not going to act on any gun measures. He is going to have to push the Republican leadership to do it or they will not act. All right, John Carl leading us off on a Monday night.